Good morning, YouTube. This is Alan with Off Grid Technology. I have a short video for you today. Uh, some of you who follow me on social media know that I have been testing the Redivis RA85 GMRS radio. Uh, several other users on YouTube are also uh, re have reviewed this radio or are reviewing it, and there's been some significant issues that have been pointed out, uh, namely Randy from Not a Rubicon Productions. Uh, he recently reviewed this video. Great guy. Uh, I, I love how he gives his heartfelt opinion to it, and he was dead on. There's several flaws with this radio, uh, the antenna being glued in and non-removable, PL tones being assigned to every channel when you receive the radio, um, and then the big one was being locked to narrow band. Uh, so I bought this radio, full disclosure, with my own money uh, from Amazon. Redivis does not know or did not know I was making a review or doing a review on this. So I reached out to them as if I was a customer, um, concerned because my product is not working the way I expect it to be. Um, and to credit to Redivis, 100%, they were very helpful. Um, like I said, full disclosure, I did pay for this on my own. When I reached out to them, I reached out to them as a customer. I did not tell them until after the issue was resolved that I was doing a review on this product. And that's why I went through the channels and the steps that I did. They were very friendly, very helpful, um, and very grateful that I was actually doing this for them. So all that aside, um, going back to the original issue of this video is being locked to narrow band. So when you get the radio, you turn it on, you notice, and you can see it good in this picture here, there's an N, which indicates that the radio is, is operating in narrow band. Um, I'm not gonna get into what the difference between narrow band and wide band is. It's all about bandwidth and voice quality. There's many videos on YouTube you're more than welcome to look up for. Um, if it is a topic that people aren't you know sure about, I would greatly love to make a video. If you like that, just let me know in the comments. So the RA85, when you get it, comes with the RA85 programming software, which you can see right here. And in that programming software, you can see right off the bat, PL tones are applied to everything. I did change that one. Um, PL tones are applied to everything. Again, not I don't like that. That can be changed in this software. You can just go in and set it to off. You can see and they'll, they'll come off, right? The other thing is you notice that there is no way to edit the bandwidth. There's no wide and narrow bandwidth setting. You've got your high and your low for your power, but nothing else. So again, I reached out to Redivis. Uh, they did go back and forth with a couple of you know software updates, firmware updates, it wouldn't work. Um, so finally, they sent me this. This is the RA685 Plus software. Now, if you're not familiar with the RA685 Plus, they're both the same radio. The RA85 and the RA685 Plus are exactly the same radio. The RA85 is just locked down for GMR GMRS, so it's got a little bit more features that are disabled. But the one thing in this radio you notice is you've got a new column here now, wide and narrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read my radio real quick while we're here so you can see this is a fresh read of what's programmed in the radio. Um, I, do, I did add the channel names, of course, when I cleared all the PL tones prior. Uh, but you can see you got your high power, your low power, and then everything is narrow, 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 narrow. Uh, that one is wide. I did forget to set that back to narrow for this video, but you get the idea. So what I what you do is you just have to go through each channel that you want to change. Set that to wide, which is fairly easy. Now, you only want to change this on the, the channels that you can operate wideband on. Um, FRS 8 through 14 has to be on narrow band per GMRS, or excuse me, per FRS rules from the FCC. So make sure you do leave that on narrow. Don't abuse this. You can change it, but if you get caught, you can get in trouble. Uh, you know, that, that you know, like Randy says, the sad hams if they get you. Um, so I would definitely just leave that on narrow. Just change the channels that you can change that are legally allowed to change. And then once you get those all changed up. There we go. You can save it. Um, I already have it saved, but I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this back to the radio. And one of the things that I was concerned about with this um, while this is writing is I was afraid that when you turn the radio off or when you reread the software that it would it would revert to the narrow settings. Um, so one of the things I, I did test is, uh, and, and I'll show you here, if I go ahead and close this software, I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio off. You can hear it go off. Turn it back on. Then I will reopen the RA685 software. So again, I just turned the radio on and off. I'm not going to import anything. I'm just going to read the radio. 
And then you'll see once the radio comes back in, or the radio is reread, you will notice that it still stays at wideband. So there we go. We have a, a solution now. Um, I, I will talk about the PL tones in the antenna in the full review video. There are some ways to get around all the PL tones you can clear. Uh, the antenna, you can get around that. Uh, but I just wanted to make this video for you guys just to show you that you know this radio this is this is a very good radio if you're having issues with it um, i would highly recommend to reach out to redivis all they need from you is your order number for your uh, ra85 purchase whether it was from amazon or from their website or whatever um, and just let them know you would like the ra685 plus software to unlock the narrowband features they will send that to you they were very quick in fact i got a response back on saturday morning and I, I emailed them Saturday night. So they were closed and I had already gotten an initial response from them. So very good service. Uh, Redivis, again, very, very good service. You, you've really helped with this one. Um, this is the, what we like to see from the vendors in, in this community. Um, keep it up, great work. Everybody else, let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if it helps you. Uh, subscribe, it, it helps out the algorithm and helps keeps us going. Um, and then if there's any other videos you'd like to see, like the wide and narrow band, or if you just have any comments, please leave them down below. I do try to respond to all of them. Uh, other than that, have a great day, guys. 73, this is Alan.